Hi, I'm Nina. Welcome to Nina in the Kitchen. Today I'm doing a beet salad that turns out to be sort of a pickled beet dish, which is great as a side dish. It's great as a light lunch. Um, you can just eat it with crusty bread. You can add it to whatever salad you're eating for lunch. And um, I think you'll find a lot of great applications for this. This is my mom's recipe. I've tried to deviate from it by fancying it up or whatever. It's never the same. Mama's always right. She just, she did it the best and this is how she told me to do it. So here are the ingredients. I have, I have beets which I have steamed. You can roast them and um, I've sliced them up. This is a vinaigrette which is just made of olive oil. This is the best quality olive oil. Look how nice and green that is. This is my, it's a Sicilian olive oil. A Sicilian told me um, use Sicilian oil, it's good for you. Or was it, use Sicilian oil if you know what's good for you. Actually, that's not my joke. I followed this guy, Chef John, on Food Wishes. He's great, he's so funny, um, and that was his joke, but I just had to use it. So, Chef John, I hope you appreciate that. Anyway, this is um, kosher salt. I have oregano, just dried oregano, and this is a bay leaf. Um, which you tear, you don't want to eat this, you tear this and you park it in there just to let the flavors blend. The oregano goes in, I always scrunch it with my fingers to release some of the oils, that's about a teaspoon, and I have some garlic, minced garlic, can't go wrong with that. A little kosher salt, and I'm going to wait for um, the olive oil until I just wanted to show you how I handle these beets and also um, I, I'm going to slice an onion for you. So let me put this off to the side and bring this over. Now for the beets, you want to work with them while they're still warm. When you cut them warm, they will absorb all of these flavors and um, the marinating will happen faster. I guess it's macerating because it's a vegetable. Marinade is for meats. So you slice the top off and then you take a paper towel and you just rub all over and now the skin is in the towel and not on your hands. <laughs> skin is in the towel. You cut that in half and just cut them into slices, however thick you want them. I've had I've had beets that were so big that I had to cut them in half again. So just whatever size you'd like, that's your preference. And now the onion, I, I call these poles. So I go from the North Pole to the South, leave the root end on, make a slice just like that at the bottom. Let me take these gloves off now. The gloves are for the beets because um, they can stain your hands for quite some time. Ask me how I know. Okay, let's get this guy off. So here's, I'm just taking the skin off. And now I'll cut the root end off. What I do is I make a little slice right at the base of that onion and then just cut like this. And the reason for cutting this way is that these slices actually um, hold better and then you just flip it over when it gets too small. They actually stand up better um, if you're cooking them. They won't fall apart like they would if you um, cut them a different way. And you know I think that's all the onion that I want to put in here. So I'm just going to add that to my beets. And now it's time for the oil. This is um, a vinaigrette, just it's three parts oil and one part vinegar. And I don't know that I'll use this whole thing. I think I will. Um, I like a little more vinegary than that. So I tend to go a little heavy on the vinegar, but that's your personal preference. You wanna just toss all of this together so that everything is incorporated. And you have to park this for at least an hour before serving. These flavors have to um, just find each other and marry, as they call it. 
So I can, at this point, put it in the fridge, let it sit overnight, bring it down to um, room temp or close to that before you serve it, and you have a delicious side dish. Look how easy that was. Okay, guys, so if you make this, please let me know and comment, leave your comments below. Um, please like and subscribe. You can find me on ninainthekitchen.net, Nina in the Kitchen on Facebook. I'd love to see your pictures. And, um, and right here, okay? Thank you. See ya.